Hello everyone, this is Hollis58 signing on to do a quick video review of the Miss Smartwatch. Um, this device retails for $199 and it does run Android Wear 2.0. Um, so some of the things that it does not do, it does not make or receive phones from the watch, meaning there's no speakerphone on the device, so you cannot do that. It does not have built-in GPS and it, is also, does, it also does not have NFC. Um, what you can do is you can track your workouts because it does have a heart rate monitor in the rear um, also does notifications very well because it has Android Wear 2.0 and it has uh, the Google Assistant on the device as well um, so like I said it retails for $199 you can also store up to I think 4 gigabytes of music on the device and you can connect a separate Bluetooth headphone to the device to go running however because it doesn't use it doesn't have its own GPS that sort of sucks um, so in terms of working out, I would say that this watch is a C plus at best in terms of tracking your workouts because it doesn't have a wide or variety of exercises that you can actually track with this. So with the Misfit Vapor, it has its own Misfit Vapor app. Um, before I even get into that, let me show you how you can interact. So you can obviously touch the screen, right? And you can swipe up and down if you want to, or you can actually swipe. So I actually enjoy this, I'm sorry, not this way, but the circle gesture where you go around like this, similar to the Gear S2 and Gear S3. I'm going to clear all my notifications. So that's how you can cycle through things. Um, so that's one way that you can interact with the device, and I actually like that. It's touch-based, though, so it's not actually a rotating bezel. It's where you rotate like that. Okay. We'll go back, and then if you want to access your, sorry, swipe up. You want to access apps, you just hit this button on the side. Again, you can swipe up, I'm sorry, slide like this. So we'll go here to Misfit Activity, right? This is how you would normally launch an activity that you wanted to track. Obviously, you can download third-party apps. You don't have to use Misfit Vapor, thankfully, because it is running on Android Wear. But I just want to show you what this comes built in with, right? Because you're paying $200 for a device called Misfit Vapor. So you might as well use what they have. So we want to go up here to see what exercise they have. They have walk, run, cycle, swim, and hike. Wait, walk, run, cycle, swim, and hike. Five exercises. So, I mean, come on. That's sort of ridiculous. You only have five exercises that you can track on this device. It's supposed to be all about tracking workouts and fitness. I mean, I could name five CrossFit, strength training, basketball, baseball, football, yoga, canoeing, kayaking, group exercises, Pilates, like P90X, there's so many other exercises that people do besides just those five. I mean, I don't even think, yeah, everybody walks, everybody runs. Not that many people hike. Like, I don't I don't know. I think that it was just very weird for them to have those included as the basic pillars of exercise. So I was not a fan of that. Then if you want, again, you do not have to use Misfit Vapor. You can use Google's um, version of Google, they have Google Fit where you can track exercises as well, which is actually pretty convenient because it does sync with a lot of other apps. However, even Google doesn't have as robust of a system as a lot of other companies. Um, I would say that Google does allow you to track a lot of exercises, but the way that they do it on the watch is very weird. Um, the way that they do strength training is they do it by reps and sets, which is good for letting me know how many reps and sets I'm doing. But obviously, the reason why I'm wearing this watch is because I want to have wrist-based heart rate monitoring and Google doesn't allow you to do that from the Google Fit app which I find to be stupid cancel sorry sorry about that it was my Google home so yeah so I find that to be stupid pull the polar m600 like I said before is the absolute best workout companion that you can have in terms of a smartwatch and something that tracks your um, fitness and that still stands here um, this is a good watch not a good Okay, so it's a good smartwatch, right? Because it, it does every it has Android Wear and that does that great, but it's not good for fitness tracking. I mean, if you want to track your fitness with this, I guess maybe for the layperson, somebody who just does maybe if all you do is run, this well, I can't even I can't even say that because if all you do is run, I wouldn't I wouldn't be the one to support the purchase for this because it doesn't even have built-in GPS. So I don't know. I do think that this is a very good-looking device, but it's hard for me to give my approval. 
um, with the features that it is lacking and how it handles workouts. I no doubt, I do believe that it will get better with time, but right now it's sort of a tough sale. Um, it does, like I said, come in at 199 so it is on the lower spectrum, but the Polar M600 is like 250 right now. So 50 more bucks, and you can get built-in GPS. Also, something else that I didn't like about this watch is the battery life. Battery life is abysmal. Um, it's not as bad as the LG Smart, um, the LG Sport smartwatch, but let's say if I get up at like 5, I work out, I go to work, I round on patients, see patients, whatever the case may be, like at 6, 7 o'clock, the battery's at 15%. Like, what? That's horrible. Um, my Polar M600, if I don't work out, I can get almost two days out of this thing, you know? Um, and then, yeah, I can get almost two days if I don't work out. And if I do work out, yeah, I'll probably have to charge it at night, but at like 10 p.m., not at 6 or 7. It's a little ridiculous. So, yeah, I do like the watch. I like the way it looks aesthetically. Um, I like, I really do like round watch faces. I may keep it. I may have selling it. I'm still within that. I don't know. Um, only because I really do like the way it looks. But it's just a lot of things that I'm sort of letting go just by switching from the Polar M600. I will say that, like I said, since this one just looks better, you know, it's just more cosmetically pleasing. The Polar M600 is a nice watch, but it's not winning any awards, you know, by the fashion police. Um, just more rugged, which is good for me, but, you know, if I want to wear like a, poly, a coat, a collared shirt, or just something a little bit more dressy, I can't really wear this. And then at that point, I don't have a smartwatch anymore. Um, I will say that Misfit was actually purchased or bought by Fossil Q. And so Fossil, I'm sorry, not Fossil. Fossil has a Fossil Q Sport smartwatch that they just announced. It's literally the exact same watch, but for 75 more bucks. Um, I wanted to see if, you know, there were some distinguishing features between the two, but there's none. Um, and so, but Fossil has their own line of Android smartwatches. And so I might give them a, a look, a gander, see what they look like, and maybe purchase one of them. Not their Sport smartwatch, but they have like a Fossil Q line, like their higher end line or whatever. Um, see what those look like because, you know, they look just a little bit more polished um, and they look better. And obviously they're not for working out. They just for like time pieces. So Hollis 58 signing off. Hope you guys enjoy the video review. The long and short is this doesn't have NFC. You can't make phone calls. You're not going to get all day battery life. And the actual smartwatch tracking is not as great on this as it should be. Yes, if you really want to be able to track your workouts, you can by using other apps. This is called Misfit Vapor Smartwatch, so therefore I should be able to use Misfit's app to track my workouts. I should not have to use a third party. But that's the beautiful thing with Android, you can if you so choose. And so if, in case you guys are wondering, what I have been doing is I've just been um, a workout called Other for Google Fit, and that's how I've been tracking my workouts in the app, and I change it from Other once it syncs to Gym, so you can do that. But that's like a workaround that I think you probably should not have to do. So anyways, if this is Hoss58 signing, um, if you guys really want to know the best possible sport smartwatch that you can purchase, 